Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the bomber. This is their part number R2100-601. This is not the spring hinge you are looking for. This is an unusual variant of the 2100, meaning it's an R or a reverse action. So this sort of hinge um, is probably not the one you want. And if you're looking for a full surface uh, storm door, wooden storm door, screen door, uh, self-closing hinge, um, you probably you probably want just the 2100, not the R2100. The R2100 means that the spring is set in reverse, meaning that when the leaf, if that's the normal leaf, okay, the spring action is going to want to open the door, is the bottom line. If that's how... Um, that's one way that it could be interpreted. There are reverse spring hinges. These exist. That means that when you close the door, the door is closed. But as soon as you open the door, unlatch it, the spring hinge makes it, makes it stay open. You'll see that very commonly in office applications where they want the doors open all the time, and you'll close them only temporarily. But the spring will keep the door in the open position otherwise. Um, the other instance where this is used is in fact the situation where this particular client requires it what they did was they literally took the hinge which is is, is admittedly a bit unusual uh, but nonetheless um, you know I find our client base is extremely imaginative um, so this is what the hinge normally looks like with the I, I have the tension pin uh, removed so there's no tension on the spring. That's what it would normally look like. Okay, A normal spring hinge is when you open the door, spring closes it back and it's surface mounted. This is a full surface hinge. Um, it would be now incorrect to really call this a full surface hinge in this application because the client literally installed the hinge as a full mortise hinge except the leaves are not mortised. They're just surface mounted to the edge of the door and the jam. So the door sits here, the frame is here. So when the, we sh the client ordered the 2100 saying, yep, that's, that, is, that is what the hinge is, that's what I need. And didn't realize that, you know, a normal spring hinge is gonna, you know, keep the door in the closed position. Um, and then when he got the material, he's saying, it's, it's staying open all the time. And I'm like, how is that possible? That would be a reverse spring but you didn't order a reverse spring, they would not have shipped it to you. Well, we started to analyze what he actually, based on what he was saying, it made me understand that the hinge was not installed as it normally would be. It was installed this way. So when he took the standard hinge, it's going to always want to open the door, open the door, because when he installed it in this fashion, he could hang the door, but when he set tension, it's keeping the door open. We need to reverse that because he installed, the client installed it as a full mortise hinge and needs to keep it in the closed position. No real problem with doing that, um, but I would say that, the, that this installation method would be outside of what the factory would recommend, meaning they'll do reverse spring hinges, but when they're surface mounted, it's just going to keep the door in the open position until you close it. So literally the function is reversed. The downside of installing them this way, and I said to the client, to, pr to verify or prove in my mind of what I suspected. I said, don't you have a rather exceptional gap between the jam and the door? He's like, yeah, it's about an inch. I'm like, okay, that's the that's why. So when it's installed like this, yeah, you're gonna have about an inch. Okay, I guessed right. You're gonna have about an inch gap, okay? So this client needed a reverse spring not to keep the door open, but to keep it closed. Not, not and as a result of installing it, not as it was intended, but as, as perhaps how it's not intended. So this is a otherwise full surface spring hinge. So what's happened here is uh, for every order you place, you'll get a tension rod. For every hinge you order, you'll get a tension pin. Once you get the door completely hung, you're gonna be able to insert that tension rod. Bomber spring hinges, the tension is always increased when the, increased when the tension collar is pointed towards the top of the door. You'll notice there's not one down here by rotating it clockwise. However, this is a reverse, so it goes counterclockwise. As we rotate that tension collar counterclockwise, that's where we're gonna increase our tension. I'm gonna hold that 
back, I'm going to insert the tension pin there and then release my tension. So you want to be careful doing that. Uh, sorry for the scare. Okay, so we've got the tension increased. Now, and I only have one hole of tension, I can spread that out and it'll snap back closed. Okay, and that's exactly what you're going to see on the outside when your door is in the uh, closed position. So every time this client goes to open his door, it's certainly going to come back and close. So there you go. Um, you know, and they're replacing existing, so, you know, that's really funny because obviously they had this to begin with, a re an otherwise relatively relatively un uh, uncommon hinge. Not relatively, quite uncommon. The only thing I can think of is why someone might do that is, you know, you may have a finished opening in a net door width that you know a surface hinge is not going to bridge that sort of gap I got an idea let's fold those leaves together and then let's put it on like this oh the springs I need the spring to be reversed okay and maybe that's how the problem was solved nonetheless it solved the problem you're going to get uh, screws and a complementary finish now speaking of finish this is the 601 that means bright black Japan Japan is a process of finishing that's done over steel um, back in the old days, like a hundred plus years ago, you could do a dead black Japan, which would be just a flat finish. The bright Japan is a is a glossy style finish, is what it is. Okay. Now there are no installation instructions really included with this. This is literally a located on the door. You know, get your door in position, get the door shimmed in the in the uh, frame, so that it doesn't move. Lay your hinge in that app in that opening. Mark your holes, pre-drill your holes, attach your uh, screws, and then set your tension. All of that is premised that you don't have any tension set to begin with. Um, so be mindful. That's just simply how this works. Let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Okay, so this is the item that we are looking at. Uh, the link to the cut sheet is down below, and it literally will show us the 2100 series, and that's really what it's meant to look like. Okay, and they can do it as a reverse spring hinge, the R2100. Three by three. And gives you the balance of the description, made of steel, it's going to be available in a variety of finishes. Let's take a look at what Bomber can do. Bomber 2100, we have them listed in 600 for prime coat, 601 bright black Japan, 603 zinc plated steel, 632 polished brass, 633 satin brass, 639 satin bronze, 640 oil rub bronze, 643, it's going to be like an antique bronze, 646 is satin nickel, 651 polished chrome, 652 satin chrome. If you're looking for a chrome style or type of color, a silvery color, 603 will prove significantly less expensive than satin nickel or satin chrome uh, substantially, and it will give you a chrome type of look. Okay, so might be a way to save a little bit of money there if you are just looking for a silvery type color. Uh, there is a link also below this video to the template, and here it is, and that's just simply a technical drawing of what the hinge looks like, uh, obviously shown in the full surface or open position. Okay, the leaf height is 3 inch, the overall width is 3 inch, as you can see here, 3 by 3. There's also a link to the um, product brochure, which is here, and the product brochure shows us the entire family of uh, these types of hinges. Okay, and what I mean by that is in the 2100, you can do a 2200, same hinge, it's just a half surface hinge, meaning the leaf that mounts to the door is mounted to the surface of the door, and the other leaf is mounted to the jam. So full surface or half surface your door would reside right here. This door would be either a left hand or a right hand reverse by, by the way that we're seeing it. Um, probably a right hand reverse. It would swing out and the hinge is on the right. The other 
screen door spring hinges that are here you can review. Uh, adjustable tension, not adjustable tension with these button tips, without the button tips. Okay, the button, the without button tips and non-adjustable will always be less expensive. Um, I couldn't really see ordering it non-adjustable. Um, you know, yeah, sure, there's a cost savings, but I would really want to have the ability to adjust the spring tension uh, over uh, what's happening on the door rather than just one setting of spring tension. There's also a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. When we click on that, that page is going to load, and that's going to allow us to review not only all of the Bomber products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. The name Bomber is quite synonymous with all things spring related when it comes to closing action on doors, single acting and double acting spring hinges, floor mounted spring pivots, the most uh, notorious, the most common and popular unit probably from Bomber would be the 3029, a typical double acting spring hinge. If you've been in a in a restaurant and you've seen that door between the kitchen and the uh, seating area, you've probably seen the Bomber 3029 or you know or some variation of it. Um, that's where you're going to see that all the time. Okay, but they make other uh, items. Uh, they make lavatory hardware as well. Why would you need to know that? Uh, well, if you ever did a project where you were looking for very high-end solid brass lavatory hardware that you could obtain architectural finishes on, that would be a great uh, document to review. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. Now, in conclusion, uh, Bomber is a uh, one heck of a company. Um, I send as much business their way as I can. It's not only because they have a relatively unique, um, you know, product offering, you know, meaning you can't get it anywhere else, but not really. Um, the Bomber logo, and right above it, it says "Made in USA," and that's a fact that Bomber is quite proud of. As am I to represent them. Everything Bomber does is domestically manufactured. Everything they do, the pens they write on their, uh, the pens they use to write down your order when you call, that pen is made in the United States. The steel, uh, everything is domestically manufactured. They have two facilities, one in North Carolina and one just over the border in South Carolina, or maybe it's just 100 feet into North Carolina, uh, where they do their plating. Uh, so their, their manufacturing plant is in one area, their plating plant is in, uh, whatever, 15, 10, 15 miles away. And I've been to both facilities and I, Believe you me, I walked away with a very realigned appreciation as to what it takes to make a hinge. I've seen lots of products manufactured in our industry, namely doors and frames. That's a walk in the park compared to making a hinge, that's to be sure, and Bomber makes it look relatively easy. Any questions on the R2100 and the 601 finish or any other Bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us, and thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.